Hi, and welcome to this Plant Factory quick tip. The Plant Factory plugin for Unreal Engine now supports master materials, material instances, and also the automatic generation of Pivot Painter 2 Wind data for Unreal's real time Pivot Painter 2 Wind. Preparing a model manually for Pivot Painter can require quite a lot of work, but the plugin automates this with just a single click. Let's have a look at how this works. Once you've loaded a Plant Factory plant into Unreal, go to the Convert to Unreal Engine object menu entry. In the conversion settings, you can now choose if you want to create a separate material for each plant part, or if you prefer a few master materials from which then the other materials will be derived as material instances. We recommend master materials over individual materials because this saves on resources and any changes made later to the master material will automatically propagate to the material instances. Once you select master materials, you can also generate the data for Pivot Painter 2 Wind. This will compute additional texture maps where each pixel represents the location and direction of virtual pivot points for each major plan part. A second texture is also computed, and this one stores the hierarchical information from each parent level in the plant. You can specify in which UV channel these additional texture maps should be stored on the model. The plugin then computes the Pivot Painter data based on the internal plant hierarchy of the procedural model. This hierarchy needs to be set up in Plant Factory before you export the plant species. We have a separate tutorial on the channel which teaches you how the custom hierarchy setup works, so check out the link in the video description. Once the plant has been converted into a static Unreal Actor, you will see it moving in the wind using the Pivot Painter data which was just computed. Let's have a look at the materials in the content drawer. Plant Factory generates one master material with a complex node network with exposed parameters. From this master material, several material instances are then derived. And there is one global material instance which holds the basic wind settings for the Pivot Painter wind. These settings are directly taken from Epic's own Pivot Painter material functions. If you change a setting here, all other materials in the plant will react globally. For example, you can change the vector for the global wind direction or change the overall wind speed. Based on this material instance, Plant Factory creates further material instances for translucent materials such as leaves and opaque materials such as bark. You can override the global wind parameters in each material instance individually. And you can use the exposed parameters from the master material node graph to replace texture maps or change basic parameters such as normal intensity or specular strength. Again, if you set up a different hierarchy structure for the plant in Plant Factory standalone, the computed pivot painter data will be different and the wind animation will also look different. We hope you enjoy the automatic creation of Pivot Painter 2 Wind and material instances with the Plant Factory plugin. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.